What is up? This is the War Dog. And I just got the May Marvel previews. And I'm going to go through them really quick with you and show you what's coming out in May. There's some cool stuff going on. So here we go. Rock and roll. All right. So you turn to page number one. And you see this? Black Panther. Yeah, the Empire of Wakanda. So I guess Wakanda is going to be like a big, huge world in this book. It looks pretty cool. I'm going to have to probably pick this one up for sure. Then um, we got a little little thing here. The page kind of ripped out, but we got the a fresh start. I know you all love to hear a fresh start when it comes to Marvel or any books. But yeah, they talk about their, their fresh start and their new directions. I won't go into that. We all have our opinions on that. But Avengers number one, check this out. Look at that. We got the uh, prehistoric Avengers going on. And I, I guess there's going to be a story involving the prehistoric Avengers, which is pretty dope. They look cool. Can't wait to see that. Um, here's some more. Avengers number one so they're, so they're putting together the uh, the old school team with a few new members like Ghost Rider I mean Ghost Rider and the Avengers wow that's pretty dope um, Avengers number two there you go and uh, the, the coolest thing about the Avengers 2 is what they're saying is uh, Ghost Rider and Savage Hulk make brutal war against each other. Yes. Here is another Avengers 1 cover. See, we got Iron Man in there. We got some Captain America, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Ghost Rider, uh, this dude, Savage Hulk. I think that's a uh, Her maybe Hercules. Um, then we've got Black Panther number one. Look at that. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. A bold new direction for Black Panther. For years, T'Challa has fought off invaders from his homeland, protecting Wakanda from everything from meddling governments to long lost gods. Now we will discover that Wakanda is much bigger than he ever dreamed. Across the vast multiverse lies an empire founded in T'Challa's name. Readers caught a glimpse of it in Marvel Legacy 1. Now find out the truth behind the intergalactic empire of Wakanda. Oh, that sounds pretty dope. Here's some more. Looks pretty sweet. Then we got Venom number one. Now Venom starting out at number one again, but the cool thing about this is Donny Cates is writing this. Donny Cates has been killing it on everything. Can't wait to see his approach on Venom. I bet we get some cool new characters in this series. Can't wait to pick this one up. Um, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Donny Cates. Then we've got Infinity Countdown. Look at that surfer. Let's see, do I have a good, good glimpse of this surfer here? He's got some weird looking face going on. Some more Infinity Countdown. There's a whole bunch of Infinity Countdown going on here. We've got like Captain Marvel in one. Um, we've got Infinity Countdown Captain Marvel number one, which is this. We've got Infinity Countdown Daredevil, which Daredevil and a team is looking for the, uh, they're looking for the Mind Stone. And then we have Infinity number one, Darkhawk. Darkhawk. Oh, all you Darkhawk lovers, here we go. Darkhawk's making a comeback, baby. Then there's all this hunt for Wolverine going on. So we got Weapon Lost, we've got the adamantium agenda. We've got, this one looks really cool. The claws of a killer. And then we've got 
Mystery in Mandapur, where it seems like all the ladies will be looking to find Logan, or I think in this one is Patch. <coughs> There's this connecting cover going on. Look at that. It's like, where's Waldo? Trying to find Wolverine among all these characters. Then, oh boy. Amazing Spider-Man 800. Look at that. Woo! The Goblin, he's coming for you. Now, I don't know how long this Red Goblin is gonna, gonna stick around. I mean, that's probably my biggest concern about the whole Red Goblin thing, is you've got Carnage and you've got um, Norman Osborn. They're both really like crazy characters. I mean, can they coexist and for how long? You know, I'm all excited about the first appearance and people are, you know, running out and getting this Spider-Man book. The only, I just hope that this character lasts more than like these six issues. Um, then we got, uh, well, we got Despicable Deadpool 300. 300, man, holy smokes. And uh, so every bad decision, every betrayal, every fart joke, they'll all come back to haunt Deadpool. He's gone from criminal to outcast to celebrity and back to criminal. And as Captain America leads the biggest heroes of the Marvel Universe to take him down, Wade is forced to be his most despicable self one last time. And uh, look at that. That's pretty dope. Deadpools. Look at all those Deadpools. And that's a wrap around. Then we get to Iron Man 600. So we got the last of Brian Bendis. And I know a lot of you guys might be excited about that. So, so let's see. Uh, Tony Stark is back. But in what form? So here you go. There's some more. Hopefully he becomes the evil Iron Man. Or he starts drinking again. Then this is kind of interesting. You are Deadpool. So look, your face here. I could see your face here. So this is like a... When I was a kid, there was these um, G.I. Joe books where it was like you, you'd, you'd read like three pages and then you'd, you'd get to pick like which direction you want to go. And if you wanted to be like a good guy, you'd go to page 47. If you wanted to be a bad guy, you'd go to page 60. Well, I think this is kind of what that is, or that is kind of what this is. Um, I guess you kind of like pick the path that you want Deadpool to go. It's kind of an interesting, uh, interesting idea. You know, here's some of the, the pages on it. You know, you could pause this and read this if you want. But I'm going to go over to Captain America number 701. And I think this is like a future story. It says, the year is 2314 and the grandson of Steve Rogers lives in the utopian America of which his ancestor dreamed. The legacy of Captain America has been realized, but something sinister lies beneath the surface. Leonard Romero Hawkeye joins Mark Wade for this very special look into the tomorrow of Captain America, featuring guest contribu contributions from artists all over the world. Um, and, and Captain America 702, the quest to save his son leads Jack Rogers into the bowels of Earth, far from the idyllic surface, and a meeting with the descendant of another notable, notable Marvel hero. So that's some Captain America for all you Captain America fans. Then we've got S.H.I.E.L.D. And S.H.I.E.L.D., I mean, the, the S.H.I.E.L.D. series, it's got uh, Leonardo da Vinci and... Um, Let's see. Delve deeper in the hidden past of S.H.I.E.L.D. along with some of the history's greatest minds, Michelangelo has been pulling the strings for years and is now becoming the prime mover. Can he keep Leonardo da Vinci and Isaac Newton from killing each other and destroying the Brotherhood of the S.H.I.E.L.D.? Oh boy. This is like Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. S.H.I.E.L.D. style! Then we've got the Incredible Hulk. Amadeus Cho. 
And let's see what it says. Amadeo has always thought of himself as the fun Hulk. No way. Really? The totally awesome Hulk. But now the Dark Hawk within him is calling the shots with brutal consequences for anyone who's ever wronged Amadeus or stood in his way. Get ready for Amadeus. Unleashed and cataclysmic smashing in the heart of New York as our hero and the world finally learns just what the curse of the Hulk is all about. Holy shnikes. We've got some Quicksilver, No Surrender. And we've got some Champions, number 20. Now in Champions number 20, it looks like there might be a first appearance in this one. It says, uh, a new hero from an unexpected source. Who is Snowguard? <gasps> Snowguard, I hope he's I hope he's wearing all white and he drives a snowmobile. Kind of like that G.I. Joe dude. Alright, so let's see. We got some story here. Moidy Thor at the gates of Valhalla. Look at Jane Foster. Yes. She is dead, but there you go. Venomized, number five. This is the year of venom. Everything is venom. All right, Let's see, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, 304. And we've got Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows, and Ben Riley. Scarlet Spider, and the Scarlet Spider, if you can see that, I don't know if you'll be able to read it, but Mysteria, Mysterio's daughter, what is that all about? I don't know if like Mysteria is new, so that might be a first appearance or something like that, but who knows. We've got Spider-Man 240, and we've got Spider-Gwen 32. And then we've got Spider-Man Deadpool. And look at look at Spider-Man. He's in a wheelchair. I think it's old man Spider-Man. Then we've got this beauty. Look at that. The Punisher. Love Punisher in this suit. Oh. Moon Knight. There you go. We've got Marvel 2 and 1 thing in the Human Torch. And they're fight it looks like they're fighting Dr. Doom in this one. A mad final gambit against the death of the universe. Ben and Johnny join forces with familiar friends. But will Doom ruin everything? The fate of the four will be determined here. What is the fate of the four? Are they coming back? I don't know. Yes, I do know. I think they are. We've got Daredevil 602, Daredevil 603. Now, who's this guy on Daredevil? The fallout of the shocking conclusion of Daredevil 600 continues as Matt Murdock and Daredevil both rally allies in the face of an overwhelming enemy. And how exactly does Wilson Fisk fit into things? Not the way you expect. Look at that yellow Daredevil cover right there. That's pretty sweet. Then we have Runaways number nine. And we have Falcon number eight. And it looks like Falcon's teaming up with Misty Knight and Iron Patriot. Then we have Old Man Hawkeye. Look at that. Is that, is it, no, it can't be. Let's see. While Hawkeye fights for his life, Bullseye makes a critical move toward his own goal. That is, if the Red Skull will allow it. All this in a surprise meeting that everyone will be talking about. What do you think that surprise meeting is? Oh, it looks like, you know. It's the year of Venom. Ms. Marvel 30. And the unbeatable Squirrel Girl. And look at that, Craven the Hunter getting slapped around by the Squirrel Girl. Never never saw that coming. Doctor Strange 390, for all you Spider-Man lovers, there he is. Look at that beauty. 
And let's see, what do we got next? Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, number 31. And Lockjaw, look at all those cute doggies. Aww. And is this the dude from, uh, I, I can't think of the show right now. You know, that really popular show with the ice people and all that, but. All right, then we've got Rise of the Black Panther. Now that looks pretty dope. I think that is Dr. Doom. What? Dr. Doom? We've got some X-Men Red. Some X-Men Red, annual number one. Look at that beauty. Oh, so sexy. Gambit, it's Gambit. Cable, 157. This one is pretty, pretty exciting because you know who that is? It's X-Man. X-Man? What happened to X-Man? When I was a kid, X-Man, you know, X-Man number one came out. It was kind of an exciting thing and then I came back to comics and I, I had no idea where X-Man went. Well, here he is and he's coming back in Cable 157. Then Domino number two. Doesn't she look beautiful? Man, I'd like to play dominoes with her. New Mutants number three. Look at that beauty. And Exiles number three. For all you cap lovers, I mean, look at that. That Now that's the kind of cap I like to see. Yeah, baby, yeah. We got some True Believers. For all you True Believers fans. Looks pretty dope, pretty dope. Love the dollar, dollar books. X-Men 27. And look at that. That is... X-Men wedding special, somebody's getting married. Oh boy. Yes, it could be Batman, but it looks like these two are getting married as well. Oh, the romance. So exciting, so exciting. Old Man Logan, this one is a pretty dope cover. Look at that. Old Man Logan number 39. What's going on with Old Man Logan? Logan isn't healing the way he used to. Something is wrong. Recent fights are leaving the, their marks in ways he's never experienced before. Beaten down, Logan goes to the one, one person he thought he could always count on for help, the X-Men. But when an old pupil of Logan's asks for his help, it's Logan's enemies who will learn the hardest lesson. This old dog still has bite. Old man Logan number 40, look at that. That's pretty dope cover too. Man, every time I try to get out of Old Man Logan, they suck me back in. We've got Rogan Gambit number five for all you romance lovers. In Legion number five. Can't wait for that Legion show to pop back up. If you haven't watched the first season of Legion, it's a really trippy show. I really enjoyed it and you'll enjoy it too. Cause I said so. All new Wolverine. Look at that. What's going on with all new Wolverine? Well, the world has been saved. It's people, never happier. The Wolverine should be retired, enjoying her time, ruling Mandapur and living life with her sister. But instead, Laura is the last bastion of cruelty. Latveria is in the last bastion of cruelty, Latveria. She has one more mission, one person to save, one person to kill. It all comes down to this. Now the next all new Wolverine that's coming out is gonna have old woman Laura. So check that one out. I think it's number 32 possibly. <coughs> X-Men Blue number 27. And Astonishing X-Men number 11. Look at that. Weapon X number 17. World's best boss. 
what's going on here? I'll tell you. After the shocking events of the last issue, old man Logan can't lead the team anymore. This ain't a popularity contest. It's about who's the biggest dog in the yard, and Warpath won't be happy about it. It's Sabretooth's first mission as field leader. The team's first target, Omega Red. Omega Red, huh? And can Sabretooth succeed where Logan failed? Look at this beauty, Weapon H number three. Oh boy. What's going on with Weapon H? Weapon H is still on the lam, but he won't r stop Roxxon from finding a our Hulk Vereen. So who do you send in to root him out? Get ready for Weapon H versus the Brood. There's some Weapon H for you. All right, we've got some of the kitty books. Superhero Adventures. We've got the Star Wars. Tag and Bink, we're here, number one. Looks like fun. We've got Star Wars Lando, double or nothing. Look at that beautiful Lando and that beautiful stash. We have the Last Jedi adaptation. I'm guessing this one is about the Last Jedi. We've got Star Wars 47 and 48. Look at these, they almost look like the, those Power Rangers covers. Go, go Star Wars Rangers. We've got Star Wars Annual number four. Look at those beauties. I just watched Last Jedi last night. It's like the chicks are taking over the, are becoming like the, the Jedis these days. And we've got Darth Vader number 16. Bom, bom, ba, bom, bom, ba, bom, bom, ba, bom, 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 Yep, Darth Vader 16. Star Wars Poe Dameron, number 27. And Star Wars Doc Aphra, number 20. And we've got Star Wars Thrawn, number four. And that about wraps up the Marvel previews for this month. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Go out and get yourself some Marvel books. And it looks like there's going to be some cool stuff coming out. That's all I got for you. Peace out. That's all, folks.